Oop. Hey guys, so I'm Max Booth. Uh, I work for the ConnectWise control team. Uh, we've been working on updating our client performance to um, just try and try and speed it up. Um, you know, we, we realize that control is already pretty fast, but we we haven't really updated in a long time, and we thought we'd try and improve it, see see what new technologies have come out recently. Um, so that we can make something uh, a little nicer. This is a video of Sushi being played through our old version of Control. And as you can see, it doesn't look very nice. Uh, and a lot of that is just because our previous method of um, encoding and screen capturing, screen rendering, which just wasn't really well optimized. So so previously we had a grid of tiles that we individually encoded uh, according to whether we thought they were synthetic or photographic. And we kind of thought that just based on what kind of entropy or like how many colors that we were detecting them it's just like a basic algorithm kind of like that. But we weren't totally efficient um, because we weren't always correct. So instead, what we are trying to do now is we are just going to directly measure how well we are compressing the screen. We're not going to try and split the screen up into a lot of little tiles. So we're just going to take the whole thing. I'm going to say, how well are we compressing this? And if we're doing poorly, we know we've chosen a bad encoder, so we're going to switch. Um, and because that is a direct relationship, we are pretty sure we're going to guess correctly. So we're going to be a lot more efficient in that way. And we're also saving ourselves a lot of computation time because we're no longer going to be uh, processing like all this extra information to try and make these guesses. We're just going to directly measure how well we're doing this compression and we're going to just go with it. So one of the things we're doing is we're using Z standard, which is a synthetic encoder that Facebook has developed uh, that is pretty efficient for what we're doing in terms of compression ratio as well as speed. The downside of using these more advanced encoders is this is going to be uh, a increase in memory usage and um, file size, but we think these are probably going to be worth it uh, just because in this day and age, memory is pretty cheap, and really the difference is not that significant. Just to give you guys an idea, the file size we expect to increase by at most around 400 kilobytes, which is pretty insignificant, we think, especially if it's a trade-off to improve performance, uh, while the memory usage um, is something we can control, but generally the more memory we use, the more efficiently we can encode things. And because memory is so cheap, we have decided to use around 300 megabytes to just reserve to try and improve our encoding. So this has been Max Booth. Please tell us if you like this update. Tell us how it goes. Keep in touch and press like and subscribe. Thank you.